this week on the Hoover Boys. This one's nice. Mid high twenties. There's high tens in here. That's pretty pretty high up there. Thought I had it. Come on. <laughs> oh. Yeah, <I> got one. <laughs> Well, welcome to this week's episode of the Hoover Boys. We have another big, massive field for you today. It's not only this field, but it's the field across the street. Somewhere around 600 acres, and we believe there was about five or seven home sites out here. Somewhere, we're gonna hopefully find them today, have some fun, save some history. This is one of Gary's permission. It is Gary, Mark, Ron, Eddie, and myself. Enough talking. Let's go do it. But I don't want to take my gloves off. Oh no. Hey, first old thing of the day. Let me turn my back to the wind. Oh, Marky Mark's got himself a Tom back button. Little broken button, little brokety shank, but it is the first old thing of the day and it looks it's colonial. Stuck. Yeah, man. Very good. All right, then. Woo! Well, I've been up there on top of that little mound with Ron playing in some iron, but nothing old up there yet. Down here by the road. Mark again, he's got a coin. It rang 28, so I'm guessing it's gonna be a US. I didn't see it. 28? Yeah, oh 28. yeah. This this soil here is so sandy too. I hope it looks like something good being in sand. It's thick. It's a thick boy. You mean to get yeah, after it and give it a punch. Where's the deets? It's got something on that thick coin like that. This at least be a Drake bus, I would think. I think it's a blank plant set. There's gotta be something on it. Let me get uh, another ungloved hand at it. Hopefully we can figure something out. I did get another time back too over here on the hill. You did get another time back? Yep. So I think this Very is good. Out. Unfortunately, I mean, for how thick this coin is, I can't get anything r readable off of it. I'm trying to let the, the sun shine a little bit, but nothing I can make out for certain, but it is an old fat copper coin. Exactly what we're looking for, and there's the tom back. That's a nice one. That one's complete except for the shankage. Yep. Very Close good. It. Spun back too. Yep. You gotta love doing this to be out here on a day like this. That's for sure. <laughs> Woo! So the only thing that could make this any worse if it was raining, and I would not be out here at all. <laughs> Gary's on the board. They got some spoon pieces, but look at this little fancy guy. Beautiful little cuff link. This little flower design. That is awesome. I have nothing that looks good yet. I might have something that looks like that. <laughs> <laughs> We're picking through this iron patch and Gary's got a couple more keepers. Very nice early keepers. Nice fat boy time back button. And he's got this little knee buckle. Looks like it's white metal as well. That is beautiful. I love the old buckles. Early sight for sure. There's just not a ton of signals yet, so which leads me to believe there's somebody who may have hit this already, but you don't know. We're gonna keep on smacking it. Well, my first round thing today is beeping 18, and it's a gear. <laughs> I just cannot get on the board. Yep, gear. <clears throat> Mark just walked up to me and said, I think you need some of this in your life. Good luck to you. You couldn't be more correct, sir. That is a cool, I'm guessing it was a button because it has a shank mark there. That is cool. A little clover and horseshoe, good luck to you. I need it. Well, these guys have been finding some pretty decent stuff. Nothing crazy, but I finally got a good high tone. We're gonna live dig it. <laughs> Sounds wonderful. Mid 20s. I do have a weedy. I'm not expecting another weedy here. Come on, be nice. Be nice to me. What's that? It's a copper? Yeah. No, it's not a copper. No. What kind of bazinga mean cruel act is this? <laughs> what is that? Yeah. It's two buttons smashed together. What the heck is that? This guy's even rated. Come on, man. <laughs> Freaking screw knob off something. <laughs> Well, I've came to the conclusion that I am in a slump and I cannot break out of it. I just met up with Gary. I'm like, you find anything out here? He's like, I got a whole bunch of buttons. I'm like, I haven't gotten one yet. And then Muck goes, oh, hey, there's a copper. 
These guys are killing me. At least I get to look at some old stuff. Oh, you got half a copper here too. That's a thin, thin boy. Well, you got a bunch of little buttons. I have nothing that looks like any of this stuff. I do have one of those. <laughs> but Muck just said he popped a copper beeping in 18. Am I thumb punching this one too? Yes, yes. Oh, KG2. Yay. That's how I expected to see coppers out of this field. Because it is sandy here. Let me get two hands in the reverse. I don't want to scrape it up. Very good. Well, I didn't get too much more dirt off of it. This wind dried it off real fast, but no doubt about it. King George II facing to the left. Reverse, you can see Britannia there, but it dried up too quick before I get my thumb to punch it. Nice copper coin. First one we could actually ID today. And another something for your treasure box. Thank you. Congrats. All right. We're already talking about lunch, and I have zero things fun in my pocket. So it goes. Well, Ron and Eddie got out of here a, a little while ago. They they were done with the wind, and I don't blame them. But I think Ron left a few finds on the tailgate. So Ron got a couple reeds, a nice D, a button, drawer pull, some pottery. What is that thing? I think it's an Incan Indian or something. <laughs> Satanic Whatever it is, it doesn't look very happy. It's going to face something making underneath my, my hoodie today. It's lid. <laughs> and we definitely located at least three of these home sites out there. I do believe that this place has probably been smashed in the past, but there's still some goodies out here. We're going to have some hot lunch. And just like that, our bellies are full of hot lunch. Uh, before lunch, I did manage one button and two Wheaties. Um, after lunch here, we're going to hit the iron patch. The first iron patch we hit that we found, well, we the guys found the coins at. We're gonna beat this up for the next few hours until that sun disappears, but the wind is here to stay. Let's make something happen. Well, I just dug me a beautiful shotgun shell beeping 19 solid. Gary's calling me over. 26, you got a copper? Yeah, you do. Can you give it to you? So there is in fact old stuff here. I found a Jefferson nickel. I see a bust on there. The matron, what's going on there? Oh yeah, that's a uh, Britannia. Isn't it? Is that Britannia side? So, I can't tell. Yep, there she is. Okay, we just got. A, oh, actually, how about this? Me a steak copper beeping that high. Flip her over. Come on. We're gonna get some eyeballs on it. What do you got? I don't know. Scissors? Uh, I don't oh, think no. so. No. It's, it's oh, some kind of weird dress-up sketching or something. I think they're fancy scissors. It's a state copper. <laughs> is it state copper? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. It's in... Yeah, it's Connecticut. Oh, I already got a Connecticut. <laughs> oh, I already got a oh. Connecticut. Absolutely. Look at that homie. Oh man, there's old there's good old coins here. Nice. Yeah, just by the the thicker Batania and uh the fact that it beeps so high. Look at the denticles. It's got beautiful denticles. Thanks. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thanks. Got that earlier. Lock hole, lock of scutcheon. That's a big one. Man, you guys got all the big old stuff. So you're telling me this stuff here besides Wheaties and Jefferson Nichols. All right, all right. I ain't done yet. Feels like it. <laughs> well, Gary's walking over here now with a big clump in his hand. Now, Mr. 44 has done this before, to me before, and it was a big hunk of poop. Hopefully it's not that. All right, so far so good. You got another copper? Is it? I thought it was looking small. No, that's, that's plenty big enough for a cut. Did it sound like one? 22. 22, yeah. It's not a bottle cap. A little farthing or something? Oh, you know what that might be? It might be a Virginia half penny. I bet you that's a Virginia half penny. I'm not touching that, you do it. I think, see if there's a shield on that side right there. Be a VA. Come on. It is. Virginia oh, has penny. <laughs> you don't have that one, do you? No, I don't. Congratulations. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, it's pretty. There we go. Oh my goodness. It's beautiful. Did you wipe the other side yet? No. Here. It's a beautiful Virginia half penny. 1773. That's technically a colony coin, not a state coin. That is amazing. That is amazing. Huge congratulations. Is Thank it not you. far from your other copper? No, not far at all. Oh man, I'm glad we came back to this spot. I actually have two high tones over there. I'm going to live dig both of them.
but I am glad you brought that over to show us. That is phenomenal. That is why we do this right this there. Is, That's why we brave awesome. these days, right? <laughs> Congrats, brother. That's awesome. That is awesome. I have two mid-20 signals over here. I got one. I was like, Ma, can you hold the camera? He's like, as soon as I'm done digging this hole, so I did a little circle, got another mid-20 signal. I'm right on a little downslope from the iron patch. and Hopefully one of them is a coin. <laughs> Watch two memorials. You ready? Live dig time. Hey, I took my glove off. I shouldn't have did that. I took both of my gloves off. So I shouldn't oh. have done that. All right, come on, please. It's a lot of iron up here, and I got a nice little squeaker here. The one behind me is a little more pure, but I like both of them. Come on. Oh, yeah. That's a coin. It better not be a memorial. Come on. I want to join in on the fun. All the way over here. Is there a copper in there? No. Oh. That's a thimble though. Is it silver? It's gonna be an aluminum thimble. How are you guys finding colonial stuff? Huh? Is it? I, I, I don't think it's silver. I think it's aluminum. You got any advertisement marks? It's light. It's an aluminum it's... thimble. We'll show it to you in a second. Let's go dig this other signal. Dag on! I almost would have rather had a memorial. <laughs> don't hate on the aluminum. <laughs> Aluminium? This one sounds a little better. Let's be another one. This one's nice. Mid high 20s. There's high tens in here. That's pretty pretty high up there. Thought I had it. Come on. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, I got one. <laughs> I just wanted to join in on the fun. You know what I'm saying? That should be a token. That's a copper. Ain't gonna be no VAF penny. I don't care what it is. That made my day. Oh, it's a matron. It's a US variety. We haven't seen one of them today. Cool. It's been a while since I found a copper or anything old coin wise. So that makes me very happy. And I'm glad we came back here. It's worn out, of course. But hey, they got me one. Thank you, Muck, for holding the camera. No problem. Woo. Then we want a copper. Close up time. <laughs> Darn it, <son. laughs> all right well here's my thimble it's all smashed up and it is aluminium it's got a nice fancy design on it but it is not silver i would have loved if that was silver and i finally got me an old coin who needs a perfect au virginia halfpenny when you can have an absolutely worn out matron head large scent no date no liberty like even the reverse like you can barely see a wreath but I love when coppers come out of the ground like shiny smooth like that. Whether it has details or not, as long as I can ID it, I'm happy with that. There might actually be one star on that coin. Give lady a kiss. Let's keep going. We're getting into it now. Just gotta work this iron. Let's work last time. I don't need them. We're getting in it now. Yeah. Watch this. Like the ground's so soft here. This is a 23-24. I just been digging on my boot most of the day. Come on. Scraped it up. Is it a copper? Hey, silver. Huh? A little copper? That's a big fat button. Look at the shank on that joker. Has yeah. something on it. It looks like my my my, my copper. Yeah. It's, a, it's as smooth as Brad's butt. <laughs> well, it's a button. So I'm gonna continue pounding this area. A real button. I got a real copper and a real button today, buddy. About time. Things are looking up. A little badge of some sort. Badge? You do have some sort of little badge. Look what I found. Oh, episode. It is an episode maker, but it's really nice. crusty. It was the weird thing is it was beeping a 22. I think it's a 1907. I thought it was going to be another weedy. There's something in the hole with it. We have ourselves an Indian head scent. Uh, you know where my brush is, bro. Yeah, thanks. There you go. Let's see what you got there. Looks like a castle in the middle. It is a castle. Yeah. It is a castle. Is it? Awesome. Is it a pin? Some kind of a pin. See, there's, uh, is there any markings in the back? Hold hold, hold, hold that. Yeah, see, there's where it was. There's a big earring, bro. Nah, 
I don't think so. If Brad was here, he'd say, <laughs> nice. I don't know if the audio heard that. Oh, that went down. I got me an Indian. That's cool. Yeah. Very good. Did you do it again? Yes, I did. I haven't looked at it yet. You haven't looked at it. That's a copper. No doubt about it. I got me one, finally. Anything on her? Daughters. Not that you need anything on another one, right? <laughs> go, go, for th go for three states in a row. Oh, it's a New York, mm. Vermont landscape. <laughs> Looks pretty... Yeah. Wait, maybe something will come out. Yeah, it looks like a thinner one. But it's another copper. It's great seeing coins coming out of this place. Is that in New Jersey? <laughs> you wish. I think that's one that Brad doesn't have yet. It's a Jersey. Is that a shank mark there? No. Oh, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. It might be. It's almost a little con convex. I think it's a butt. I don't. Who did it beat? Um, it looks 22. like a copper. It's got to be a copper. Well, congrats. Oh, yeah. I'm starting to see a little bit of right there. Now you're making stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> you fit right in. <laughs> I'm pretty sure earlier I said something about how I've been digging with my feet for most of the day because it's pretty much like sandy beach. I've just been raking it with my foot. Look what I just raked up. It's a two-piece button. Flipped it over and brushed it off. Check this out. Eagle A. Eagle artillery button. Civil War era. Unfortunately, it's got a big crack in it. But that is an absolutely beautiful piece of military history right there. Eagle artillery button. I absolutely love it. <laughs> Today's been like the tale of two days, at least for me. This morning, I couldn't even get over a signal. Not a good one anyway. And this afternoon, it's been bang, bang, bang. Not everything's been a good target, but all of a sudden, there's signals in this iron patch. May have just took us to slow down a little bit. You got to go slow on the iron. About 10 minutes ago, I said to Mark, like, where are the dandy buttons? We are picking up other buttons, but I'm like, where are the dandy buttons? He goes, maybe there wasn't any dandies here. I was like, there's always at least one dandy in every family. Let's flip one up. It was deep. It was way down there. I just took my last handful and threw it up there. I was like, oh, wow. I started to lose faith thinking it was going to be a big can or something, but that is a massive coat button. And it's a fancy one. Look at that. That is beautiful. Oh man, it's been so long since I found a button that big with a beautiful design. That's a beautiful display piece. We're all shanked up. Unfortunately, the sun is hitting the horizon right now and I would say this place went from, we think this place was beat before to we should probably beat this place again because there's signals here. Weird, beautiful button. Well, the sun is all the way gone. We got a little bit of light left. Gary just found a nice watch mounting key. And I just found a tiny little button. Yeah, look at that watch mounting key. That is cool. I love the fancy one. Check out this little button. Tiny little guy. <laughs> Pretty cool. Well, thank you for the invite, Gary. And thank you, Mother Nature, for it not being windy right now. But you were very nice earlier, and I'm never going to forget it. Scare what we found. They had a falling up the board. Filling up the board or falling up the board? One of them. Did a number on the dump bucket as well. Plenty of garbage in there, and Mark's got some garbage over here, or at least some things that didn't make the board. You got a coin over there. Is that weedy? Could be. There's the board. Not too shabby. Ryan's few things are still over there. We showed those earlier. I don't know if Eddie found anything today, but uh, mucky muck. What do you got up here? Bunch of different things and stuff. Little, little spoon maybe some scissors i don't know why my frame rates look messed up it looks all jumpy but it's weird i got the d uh you got some buttons a bunch of buttons some tom backs there's a cool little badge got on two coppers one on the right king george the second i love that little good luck button token i like it and i needed it today fancy escutcheon piece i thought that was a rev war belt buckle when it came up not uh, I got a colonial light switch, three Wheaties, a gear, a toasted, uh, that's actually a nickel there, Jeffersonian. Got a thimble, beautiful dandy button, a bunch of other buttons. I only had one before lunch. And I got an Eagle A button, artillery button, the Indian to make it an episode, and the very smooth matron head large scent. Gary found the devil, some weird fingerine thing there. And, uh, some some D, some wagon parts, keyhole, 
Got some nice buttons and pieces of shoe buckle frame. Some really fancy pieces of shoe buckle frame. More buttons, a watch wind and key, that cool little cuff link. Very early knee buckle. And he got some coins. He got a bicentennial clad dime and a white copper, a Connecticut copper, a fantastic Virginia half penny. And what we we're saying might be a cut or broken copper. And I'd say that was not a bad day. It was definitely better for me after lunch. And uh, Mother Nature will never forget you for this wind. Thank you guys for watching. Until next week, help clean up the ground, dig it all, and take your trash with you. Why? Because all holes matter. And happy Thanksgiving. Bye. Definitely know what I'm zooming in on tonight. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Something round in the iron patch. It's gotta be a button. This baby 14. What the? What the heck is this? I don't know what this is. It might be a burnt up coin. That's not what I was expecting. It's almost like half cent size. There's no way it's a coin. Let me figure out what this is. Oh man, the woes continue. It is a coin. I'm like, what is that? And I flip it over this way. I'm like, oh, that's the Monticello. It's a Jefferson nickel uh, that was in a fire. <laughs> right on top of the iron patch where these guys are pulling Tombac buttons. I got a burnt Jeffersonian nickel. <laughs> at this point, you, you got to laugh at yourself. I'm up five cents. I doubt this will spend, though. Even a taco joint won't take that nickel. Nice. Nico, Nico, <laughs> I can't speak. My brain is frozen.